as you can see it's a beautiful sunny day let me see if I can get that sun out of the background um, and another reason for joy today is that I am catching up with three industry colleagues who have become friends in close relationships I'm catching up with them separately today um, and I will post a photo of each of them with a little bit of information about them first one is Justine who I worked with at Coca-Cola Amatool second is Shai Desai who um, is just someone who's been a great source of strength and support in my network and the third one is Emma Weber who also did a little bit of work with me as an external vendor when I was at Coke and she and I also co-presented at a conference in the United States a couple of years ago so three beautiful friendships and relationships to deepen again today. So I think today's theme is connection. I actually started with connection, joining a Twitter chat that I have long been a member of, PKM chat or personal knowledge management chat. Um, and that was nice to reconnect with a couple of people in particular, Bruno Wink, my friend from France, who I actually saw when he visited Australia earlier this year. He stayed with us for a weekend, which is fantastic. It was a lot of fun. Um, and Simon Fogg in the UK, who is someone I bounce off a lot on Twitter. So connection is the theme for today. Unfortunately, I forgot to take photos when I was catching up with friends and colleagues earlier today. So I will quickly snap from their LinkedIn profiles. So this is Justine Jardine, who I used to work with at Coca-Cola Amatil. So one of the conversations Justine and I had was about um, some of the shifts in particularly use of social networks, enterprise social networks that have taken place at Coca-Cola Amatil since I finished up there about 18 months ago. Um, she and I had worked alongside each other to do quite a lot to um, promote the uptake of online forums and communities of practice when we were there. Uh, and since I've left CCA, they've introduced Workplace by Facebook. And it sounds like the uptake has been quite substantial versus when SharePoint was a platform, but also that a couple of the key leaders in the supply chain business unit where I worked have um, really taken to the platform as well and leading the way, showing people how to use it, sharing quite a lot on it. So it gives me some heart to see that um, you know, perhaps some of the legacy of what uh, I was involved with starting when I was at CCA lives on and is making a difference. And the second person I caught up with for lunch was Shai Desai, who is one of the co-founders of Learning Plan. And look at all the awards these guys have won. They're really um, innovative and effective in the work they do. Shai does a lot behind the scenes to support different people who are endeavouring to make a contribution to the learning and development profession in Australia and the company Learning Plan supports a lot of different networking events. Um, so he's one of those people who behind the scenes is actually making a much bigger contribution than many others realise uh, and he's just a genuinely nice guy. Um, interesting thing he was talking about is the amount of work um, in the instructional design area uh, and in learning solution development that's going on at the moment here in Australia uh, and certainly he's noticed a big uptake uh, in the past two months uh, as well as the fact that um, the pool of good quality instructional designers seems to be quite thin at the moment so it's reflective of a general trend that there's a lot more work going on um, where people are engaging external vendors so that's a good sign. So I got too dark and too late last night for me to finish uh, snapping about my day's connection so I will finish that off now. Last person I caught up with was Emma Weber who's the CEO of Lieber transfer of learning and a um, top-notch thinker and practitioner around learning transfer. I first met Emma at the Australian Institute of Training and Development Conference in 2012 when she was presenting um, and I was in her class. Um, interestingly that was one of the first conferences I ever went to and I remember sitting there thinking maybe one day I can present at a conference. Well, I did get to present, I've presented at many conferences since then, but one of the highlights has been presenting with Emma a joint case study on a learning transfer pilot we did together in 2015, and we presented it together at Denver in the US at the Association for Talent Development Conference, um, which was an absolutely wonderful experience. 
So amongst all of the different conversations I had yesterday, one of the things that really stands out is that sharing of um, updates and news about what's happening in the industry across our networks and also resources and ideas. So Shai gave me an idea for people to connect with in New Zealand and suggested that um, I do take some further steps to look at running a workshop over there later this year or early next year. Um, Emma had a podcast recommendation for me. Uh, Justine um, had some insights uh, around an instructor design project I'm thinking of undertaking and suggesting that, you know, we can't be specialists in everything and given that I am more of a strategist rather than someone who has designed a lot of online learning programs, uh, it's probably best that I think about engaging someone else to do some of that work. So, you know, a lot of the way I learn, gather up and um, get inspiration is through my network and through these kind of conversations. I, um, I do enjoy group conversation uh, and having a few people to bounce things off, but personally I find those deeper one-on-one -on -one conversations where I can really dig into something with someone and explore something they've been working on or doing and an experience they've had and they can reflect back, help me do some reflection. Um, I just find that a super powerful way to learn and progress my own projects and thinking and move forward. So thank you to everyone I connected with yesterday and I'm looking forward to lots more connections over the coming week with the Australian Institute of Training and Development Conference coming up next week.